Mountain goats live at the top of the mountains. They live in some of the most rugged parts of the mountain range, steep, jagged cliffs right along the actual ridge top of the mountains. And it can be difficult to get into mountain goat country. Mountain goat hunting, in a way, is my least favorite type of hunting. I've never been on a successful archery mountain goat hunt that I have not at least once been terrified for my life. Brett! Brett! It was a good try, huh, Brett? It was a good try. We were that close. That's as close as you can get without not getting one in horrible weather. It's about a three hour walk back to the tents. Brett! Brett! Good try. That's why it's mountain goat hunt. It ain't easy. Kill arrow. We're gonna put it in something. They can be very, very difficult to hunt. They live in some uh, very difficult, very, very steep terrain. I've never been on a successful mountain goat hunt that I didn't have to spend at least one night out unplanned with no uh, tent, sleeping bag, anything like that. Not very many guys get out into these mountains and hunt them. For one, because it's so remote. A lot of times those big billies are hung up in those cliffs and you know, sometimes you gotta go right up in there and, and get after them, especially with a bow, you know, you've gotta get so close to those goats. Mountain goats sort of like sheep hunting, except um, I think the goats live in much steeper and more dangerous areas than, than, uh, than sheep do. You take everything that you've learned in the past and you have to use it all, you know, when you hunt stuff in the mountains like sheep and goats, because it, uh, it, I think it's the toughest type bow hunting a person can do. You spot a mountain goat that you can get up on and you work at it, they're fairly easy to stalk into range on. They're bigger than you think they are and they offer a fairly large kill zone, but they also live on cliffs and if you make a shot on a mountain goat, it's possible that it could fall off a cliff and it's happened to me. You may see the biggest mountain goat of your life but decide not to go after it just because of the area it's in. It's possible that that goat could fall off the cliff. He was facing me, man. I had to put it a little back. Yeah. He's, he's hit good, though. One of the other problems with a goat is uh, doing one of these down the mountain and breaking the horns off. You just, that's basically luck. We climbed back in there the next morning, and sure enough, he had fallen off the cliff, 1,000 feet straight down. Get this bow down. Oh, Brad, look at that. He's pretty banged up, all right. Look at that. His horn's broken off over here, bent down. This end tip's broken off. The wonder it isn't worse. Oh, man, just disappointing. It's a shame. Yep. You're such a beautiful animal. Uh, mountain goat hunting is uh, in the most rugged country there is. Let's face it, you know, it's straight up here. And if you can see behind us, that cliff, we arrowed that goat up on the very top there. Another thing that you don't think about on a mountain goat hunt that, that exists and is difficult is the brush line that you must traverse to get into the alpine. And as you climb up and have to go through the alder patch and go through the thick brush to get up into the alpine, you're gonna find out that it's not only steep and slippery, but it's just incredibly tangled. I think you can come right over on the top of him. I can drag you over there too, back in along that side. Yeah, that should provide some cover for us. I'll put on my suit and I'll try to get down below him. And keep we used a trick in our hunt that really made it successful, I think. And what happened was, was Dennis put this white suit on and basically 
crawled on all fours out below the goat. To talk to, to guides and outfitters who specialize in mountain goat hunting, uh, you'll find that mountain goats are probably one of the animals that, that hunters give up on the easiest. In other words, a hunter will take a bow and go on a mountain goat hunt and on the second day shoot it with a rifle, the guide's rifle, and just be done. And it's because of the stresses of altitude uh, that these animals live in and also just the sheer amount of work that's involved. I could see him running down below, and he ran down into a little creek area and disappeared. And that was just a perfect opportunity. I didn't let him get up on all, all fours. I drew back, and I shot him right behind the front shoulder. He jumped off of this cliff right there, just bailed off. When Dennis come up to the top, and he goes, he goes, what, what happened, what happened? And I said, we got us our goat, Slippery. man, we got him. He's huge, and he's down. Look at this big mountain goat. He's a billy, and he's snow white. He's got big, thick hair. It's almost like a lion's mane here. And look at his beard. Look at the horns. Mature billy. Mountain goats, they live in some of the toughest country on the planet. I would really urge anybody who was thinking about going on a sheep hunt to try mountain goat hunting first. Well, for one, it's a lot less expensive. And another thing is, it's just like sheep hunting. So if you can be successful with a bow and arrow on a mountain goat, you're gonna be successful on a sheep hunt. So it's, uh, it's an awesome, awesome experience.